how you get a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Where's Jack and John at? <laughs> you got some guts, kid. That's for sure. <laughs> We got him out here in his. You settling back in? Long clothes. I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but. But we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. <laughs> Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want? All right. anyway? Give me a second. I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Well, you seem to be missing the urgency here. All right. Tilly. Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. <laughs> Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Come to think of it, no. That could be another problem. Well, he'd be a real fool to turn on us now. But I can't imagine he'd last too long on his own. Still. Well, I'll get some eyes out. See if we can track him down. Okay, good. Let me know. Boy, done run off. It's gonna be bad news for us. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. 
time, sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh. You keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You... Or laugh. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. I hear you, Tilly, but gotta make sure that everything's clear first. Really? Just two guys? Well, three guys? It's okay, mm. Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. You thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, uh, the one in front. Well, let me draw my guns. Stay right on their tail, Arthur. You hit the wrong girl. Here we go. Shoot them. There's more. It was talking like there was more, but I couldn't see anybody but oh, one. Hurry. We're going to lose them. <laughs> Let's finish these scum. Arthur has his knife out. Seriously? I gotta get up beside him and stab him? Why would I do that? Okay, there we go. Can't this horse go any faster? 
No, I done run this horse out. have anything that will give the horse stamina? Good at this. I'm good at killing. We would be done if I would have been able to get my gun out earlier. Oh. Yeah. Or if I'd been able to get my horse, you know, pull my rifle. So done. Come on, girl. Go on. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It would be a lot easier if I was able to get my rifle. But I'm going to finish it with my handguns. Now that I know I can get my handguns out, not just a knife. I don't know it went, why it went for a knife to start with. The one in front. Bring them back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right, get after them. There, straight ahead. I saw him go through those bushes. There, come on for you, you bastard. You got it. They're heading down the hill. Yep. Come on! Get him, Arthur! 
shoot the horse at least? Make sure you tie him up real good. Get this off of me! Quick! Before he gives you the slip! You son of a bitch! Be a man about this. Gonna make these nice and tight. I expect him to be a white guy. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I shot him in the I'll butt. Take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can I loot this dude while he's down there? Me, you bastard. No, I cannot. Move. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Shut the hell, up. Go to hell. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Watch your mouth. <laughs> Get off me, coward. All right, all right, damn it. Come on, let me hit him again. not all right here's your man bring him here dump him on the ground here I want to get a good look at this monster So he's still alive then? Ah, yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the battle. Sadly, I agree with you. Oh. Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. <laughs> No, not Onyx. Not Lucy here. Not Onyx.
Come on, let's go away. I don't want to leave just yet, but Come on. Oh, I just rode you. I want to look at the information on this horse. I mean, I want to see if I can uh, hitch this horse real quick. And then I'm going to take it into the stable. But I want to search the boys in the cabin first. In the cabin. Easy. Good. That's it. All right. Can I study the dang horse now? No idea if this is better than Onyx or not. I'm still going to take it. Let's brush him. Ah, take it easy. All right, girl. All right, nice saddlebag now. No. It's now my horse. Bodies are gone. Well, that's just crap. Can salmon. A little bit of money. Yay, hey, three shotgun gel. Some rifle cartridges.
Well, well I guess we can't search the chimney with a fire burning. That's everything. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to ride this horse. stable from me. Is my horse at the stable because I told it to flee? This one is the one in St. Denis. So that's where we're going to head. Wait, is this Black Bella? No, this is Strider. Okay. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'll tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! The wanted poster of Mark. Lost a goddamn war. 
Stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's right. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh... Hey, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> Rose, you don't want to miss this. Okay, girl. Hi, mister. You think love You got a problem with me or something? You got no problem with you, fool. this for moving what the no hell? damn manners this is all shit <clears throat> you goddamn prick <clears throat> Nope, don't swap. That hat looks like crap. I don't want that. Mr. Black, Mr. White. 4040. Both considered dangerous. Last seen in the vicinity of Rhodes. Still at large. Capture alive, escape from capture alive, escapees from chain gangs still at large. Both considered dangerous. Last seen in the vicinity of roads. They want them alive. For rewards, collection contact H. Thomas Road Sheriff's Office. Oh, don't even. How many posters was I supposed to get? Or I wanted to go down and ride back into town then. Poster off you. Give it up. That ever worked before? 
The hell Close you do, fella. Oh, the horse. We have to get five posters. Man, if we have to run out of town every time. Let's go find the rest of the posters, and hopefully we don't have to run out of town again. Oop. Let's uh, avoid the main street. get off and go between the buildings but I'm hesitant to leave the horse I'm really of the thought that maybe we should go pick up our bounty Poster up in here. Probably not. I guess it really doesn't hurt for us to come up here and look. Two more to find. Oh. This is the post office. There's probably one around here. 
I mean, that would make sense. Right? Really weird that there wouldn't be one at the post office or at the at the train station. I mean, that's where the post comes in. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? I'm looking to find these stupid water posters. Am I missing something? I don't know why they would put them up here in people's houses, but We rode through town. Well, we didn't find a poster. We saved a woman from being beat. She gone, gone. Yeah, I think she's gone. Maybe I haven't looked at all of this. I mean, we've been through here. 
this is town, I assume. We haven't looked at all this. Could there be are there posters up here too? Could we head up there maybe? Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to me that it the they would put posters out here. This is the church, right? Whoa! Why is there an open grave here? Did I break that tombstone? Yeah. This is where the Reverend will stand. Yeah. Where are these other two posters? Yep. Am I being dumb? thought they were appearing on the mini-map when I got close to them, but were they appearing on the mini-map when Arthur saw them? station you uh might want to wash some of that blood off hello um well the other place I can think that there'd be a um, bounty poster is in the sheriff's office, which is not a place we really need to go to, but hey. That's what we need to do.
Alright, where's the sheriff's office at? It's on the other end, isn't it? Now, do Let's go, girl. we let these fools go, or do we kill them? Guess y'all can tell what I'm thinking. Sometimes we do things on, a, on the horse to make me say, that should have thrown us. And then other times we do things that I say, that should not have thrown us. But we get thrown, nonetheless. in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, 40 bucks a piece is not a lot. It was a murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well, what? Don't just leak. Shit. Sorry about this, gentlemen, but I need the money. You boys are coming with me. Son of a bitch! Shaking! Crazy bastard! Get away from me! Last time I trust a Yankee! No, no, no! Sneaky! Crazy bastard! You damn bastard! Enjoy! Come on, horse. Oh. Come on, Onyx, get out of the way. other than the price on your head. Cold bastard! Yep. Now he's got both of us! 
If we gotta act together, we'll go back together. Maybe they'll hang us together too. You're coming with me. Let's see if the sheriff's pleased to see you, eh? I'll, I'll spit in his eye, and I'll spit on you when I get the chance. <laughs> it was self-defense. Whatever it was, ah. it's your business. Mine's the reward money. Uh, I should have known what you was when I, when I saw you. I don't know if this counts as the good deed or not. I don't know which one does. I guess I could just kill him, but that really sounds like, or feels like doing the good deed, and that's not what I want to do. Jump over the fence. One more up. Uh, let's get this over with. You stupid. <clears throat> Got one of those fellers ran off the chain gang. I knew they was around here. Put them in the cell. Damn you. Mr. White. The other one will be in shortly. Good work, son. You devil. I'm a good man. I am. I swear. Let me go. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, please. It ain't too late. Let me go. What the shit? Who makes a pair? Well done, sir. Well done. Put them in the cell for me. Sheriff, now, Sheriff, you got to look at my case. That was extenuating. Uh, the son of a bitch deserved it. <laughs> I can't go back to the chain gang, Sheriff. Give me the guy that was any day of the week. That's the price for the two escaped convicts. You know, they were all right fellers, so this will weigh heavy on me. But the coins will help. Damn you to hell! Can't believe I'm stuck in another cell with you. Oh, I believe it. Any dumb plan of yours is bound to fail. My plan? Now was it? Go to My apologies, sir. This fella. So Wait. To take the reins. Why did that look like they only gave us 40? Hey, fellas. Whoa, don't you be hiding your face from me now. Only thing I'm guilty of is... I'm just about through warning you. Who do you think you are? You tell them if they send me back to the chain gang, I'll cut up another guard. How is the law searching when I killed the law?
You're done oh. for! 